Welcome back to the channel guys. Today's my town wide garage sale for my town and I'm just here at my old Little League field right now just reminiscing about the, the good old days. Oh wow, this brings back so many memories. Here, let me show you guys. So, that's the mound I used to dominate on. That's the plate I used to hit dingers on. The dugout. Oh wow, so many memories. Wow, that's where I used to buy a post-game burger and hot dog. Just crazy to think that that was already nine years ago. Wow. So anyway, I'm taking you guys along with me today uh, to do some yard sales, see what I can find. Um, my goal is to spend a maximum of $20, a max. So we'll see if I even spend that much. Um, I'm only planning, planning on doing this for like two hours. So we will see how many garage sales I can hit up. Um, I was supposed to come with my friend, but uh, that d didn't happen. He's busy, so it is what it is. I was looking forward to going with someone, but what you gonna do? Oh, damn, throwback. I think the number one thing I'm looking for is coffee mugs or beer mugs, because those are very, pretty valuable. So um, we'll see what I can find. Here we go. Wow, this is where I used to dominate games. Wow. Jesus, Christmas. Don't know what this mound is. I think it's softball. That's my guess. Wow. This is where I used to salute the flag. Here we go. Number one. Sale number one. Uh, so first sale, pretty sucky. Pretty sucky to say the least. Yeah. Absolutely nothing, everything was overpriced. Uh, yeah, so 0 for 1 so far. Let's go, let's see. Uh, like I said, coffee mugs, beer mugs, those are the big ones for me. This is so cheap, usually like 25 cents, sometimes free. So we will see. Uh, so this next this next sale is actually like it's actually at the like, police station in town. Um, so let me give that a shot, see how it goes. There's like a shit ton of stuff there, so hopefully it goes well. Hopefully I can buy at least something. All right, pulling up now. Let's see if there's any parking spots. Doubt it. Nope. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Oh Jesus, Christmas. Holy mother of God. Yeah, that's pretty packed. Holy shit. Uh, so I just scored. I just scored freaking huge. Big time. Holy crap. Holy crap. I have no idea what this is, but... Gold. Someone looked this up for me. Um, so yeah, there's one box, two boxes, just full of coffee mugs. And then come around here got another one here full one down here full just my god so you could say you know absolutely hit the jackpot and I'm here in my old elementary school by the way still looking dope Wow. 
So, made up pretty well. <clears throat> Just got home. Wow. I think I might go celebrate with a round of golf. I think that's the I think that's the game plan. Um, wow. 50 mugs ish, 50 ish mugs for two dollars. Two dollars. Um, even if I don't get the two hundred dollars in profit, I, mean, I don't know. If, I don't even know. That was just that was just a guesstimate. Um, that's still like holy crap. Holy crap. Two bucks for 50 coffee mugs. Minimum, minimum, the absolute minimum I think I can make from that is 100 bucks in profit. Oh, wow. I'm gonna have to do a lot of researching, that's all I know. Yeah, I just wanna go over some, I just wanna show you guys six mugs that I got from the yard sale. These six mugs are only in the three first boxes. So these are six of the 50 that I actually got um, and I haven't I haven't even looked at the last box yet and I think that has like 10 15 mugs in it in the first place so these six mugs right here I've already researched I've already done my homework on them and they are pretty valuable um, they'll give me some good profit so without further ado let's get into the six mugs all right so the first mug actually there's two mugs um, I did not know that these were in the same I guess you could call it category and these are in the same category so they're both farmer related or whatever so I'm gonna sell these as I'm gonna sell these together so we got farm farm fresh carrots next right one mile and the brand is that is the brand the Secura all right so that's the first one it's the firm first farm related one and then we got this one, vine ripe tomatoes, 50 cents quart. All right, and this is the same brand, Secura. All right, so I'm gonna sell these two together. Um, with the research I did, I should be able to get $20 in profit or probably 17 in profit, including the fees. So 20 bucks in profit-ish around there. It's a pretty good deal. It's pretty good, um, pretty good haul for these two mugs. This next mug is a state mug. So it's an Arizona mug. Arizona, if you do not know, is a state in the United States. Yeah, so you got this uh, person on a horse, it looks like, with a with a spear. I don't know, it might be, it could be Poseidon. It looks like the trident. Um, so yeah, this mug has seen better days though. You can see it's a little, it's a little dirty. Um, but anyway, yeah, so this is Gift Gift Creations Incorporation. That's the brand. Um, so with the research I did, I should be able to get um, like eleven dollars for this. Another good another good haul right there. I take a I take eleven bucks any day of the week. Hands down. I got all this dog fur on me. Holy crap. Alright, so this one. Let it snow. We are in the Christmas spirit now. I'm starting to celebrate the holidays already. So, yeah, we got Let It Snow. Um, Royal Norfolk, Norfolk brand. Um, with the research I did, I should be able to get around between 10 to 12 bucks for this mug. That's another good haul. I take that any day of the week. Second to last that we're gonna talk about. Whoa, did not see this beforehand. Um, this one is also a Royal Norfolk, Norfolk. I don't know how to say it, Norfolk, Norfolk. All right, so this one, as you can see, there's a saying on it, dear God, um, dear God, if there's a meaning for every word, is there a reason for everything? Retweet. Um, and then there's this essay on the back. I don't wanna read that. You guys can read it. Pause, it, pause the video right there and read it. All right, so I did some research on this one, of course, like I said, and I should be able to get, um, I think it was between, I'm trying to do this on the top of my head, but I think it was between like 12 to $16. I think it's around that ballpark. So 12 to $16 for this bad boy right here. Any day of the week, I'll take that. 
And last but not least, I think this is the most valuable mug that I have found thus far. Big hug mug, all right? This thing is a whole damn mood, not gonna lie. Um, the FTD, don't know what that stands for, but it's the big hug bouquet. Big hug bouquet. Um, so yeah, this thing's dirty. I gotta do some cleaning. I'm probably gonna be able to sell it for 16 to $18. That's a pretty good deal. So all in all, as you guys can tell by the title of this video, the all the mugs together, so I spent two bucks. I spent two whole dollars on 50 mugs, and about half of them are gonna be worthless, but I'm gonna use, let's say, those 25 other mugs that I don't sell on eBay. I will just put them all together in like two boxes and put them on Facebook Marketplace for, you know, 30 bucks. And hopefully someone buys it for 30, buys all 25 of those mugs for $30. And hopefully I can make a profit that way instead of just throwing them out and not making any profit whatsoever. Um, if you ever see this at a yard sale or anything, by all means, get this mug, please. It's it's absolutely incredible. You guys will make a ton of money with this, with this mug. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I enjoyed creating this video and you know going out to this yard, this one yard sale and finding all these gems like the big hug mug. Um, and I still have another box to look through too. So who knows what's in that one? That's valuable. But with that said, I should be making at least $150 plus in profit. That's what I think is gonna happen. It's, it's my intuition and $150 in profit for spending $2 on 50 just random coffee mugs, I think is a good deal. Thank you guys for tuning into this video. It means a lot to me. Um, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, um, and you know, tell your friends about this channel because we are starting to churn out some content. The next video that will, will come out is next Wednesday, of course, which will be my golf tournament. Stay tuned for that. That's gonna be a fire video. I promise you that. And so yeah, I will got I'll see you guys next Wednesday. Peace.